Hello, and welcome to Cumberland County Public Library's Crafts Around the House. My name is Robin Defendall, and I work at the North Regional Library. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous snowman lighted wine bottle. It's super easy, and you can, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so let's get started. What you're going to need for this project is a wine bottle of your choice. They do come in several different colors. Um, this one is green. You can find these nice frosted ones, or you can start with the blue bottle. The first thing you're going to need to do, though, is get the label off. So you'll want to soak the bottle in water, or you can use a razor blade carefully to scrape the label off. Once you've done that, you'll need some alcohol, either a bottle of alcohol or you can use alcohol wipes. And that will take the glue off of the bottle. You need to make sure you keep that step because otherwise it's going to make lumps on your finished product. You're going to need colors of paint. The snowman we're going to do today will need some white paint some orange for his nose, some brown for his arms, and I'm gonna use a little bit of red with the white to make some pink rosy cheeks. If you wanna do, um, oh yes, and also I need a little bit of blue to make some shadows. If you wanna do um, Christmas trees or fir trees, then you're also gonna to want to have some green. You can put a hat on your snowman with black if you like. You're going to need a wide paintbrush, mine is square, and you're going to need some smaller paintbrushes that have round tips. I also have a couple of other things that you might need to use. I have a Sharpie which will let you trace your design or draw your design onto the wine bottle. And the nice thing about Sharpie is if you make a mistake with it, they are permanent except alcohol will take it right off. So if you make a mistake, get some Q-tips in the alcohol or use the alcohol wipes to just change your design. No muss, no fuss. So I use this kind of razor blade that's in a nice holder. It works really well. It's the kind that's designed to take bumper stickers off your car window and it works great for the labels on your wine bottles. Now you can soak the label first which will make it easier to get off but be sure as you do this that you are using your razor blade away from your hand and body because you do not want to slip. So once you have your label scraped off, you've got all this little extra pieces and some glue. So take your alcohol on a paper towel and just rub that really thoroughly until you get all the last of that off and any sort of residue from the glue the alcohol takes it right off. In addition to getting the glue off your bottle, this also takes off any oils from your fingerprints and you do wanna do that. So even though, for instance, there's no glue right here, you wanna wipe that down with the alcohol also. Once your bottle is completely clean and there's no glue any further, then you're going to try to avoid touching the surface that you're going to paint because the glue does sort of make the paint not stick as well. Now we're going to get down to the fun part, which is painting. A lot of times I just use a paper plate as my paint palette. And in this case, I'm also going to use it as a painting surface as we complete this particular design. 
So I want to put a second or third coat of the white paint on my snowman so that you see fewer brush strokes through the lights once we install that. So I'm going to use my white paint and I'm going to use my nice thick brush. And you do not want to use a damp brush. You do not want to thin your paint down. Just use it straight out of the bottle. With the snowman shape to make the circles, all you're going to do is twist your paintbrush into a circle. And once you've done that, you're good to go. I'm going to paint another little bit of white around my bottom, bottom of my bottle. And then I would normally let that dry, but I want to add a little bit of shading to my snowman. Excuse me while I am a little bit hoarse today. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue to my white paint and I'm going to use a smaller brush and just kind of add a little bit of blue in to make a lighter, very light blue color. And I'll just paint a little bit of shadow around the edge of my snowman so that he doesn't look quite so flat. Now, to make the carrot nose, the easy thing to do is to take a fair bit of paint on your brush, put it where the carrot is going to connect with his face, and you're going to take your round brush and press down hard and then lift up as you come to the end of his nose. That'll make it a little bit round at the base and narrower as it comes out. If you want, you can make it a little squiggly so that it doesn't look like a perfect carrot, whatever you like. So there he is looking up. Now I want to make his black eyes out of coal and his smile. So this is the trick. You don't have to try to paint round eyes. Dip your paintbrush end into your black paint and put it right where you want the eye to be. Bingo. Perfect. Now, I think I would like for his um, cheeks to be rosy. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of red and add it to my white to make his rosy cheeks. Perfect. Now I'll take just a little bit of this red, mix it with a little bit of my white to get a nice, very pale pink. And then I'll just paint a little bit of a circle right here where his cheeks are. All right, mostly done. The last color I really want to use right now is this nice brown because the snowman needs some stick arms. I'm going to have him put his arms about here.
I got that stick a little bit wide there at the end. I may clean it up a little bit with my Q-tips and just come down here a little bit and thin that out. Because, as I said, mistakes happen and you can just roll with it. There, he's lovely. If you have any questions or you'd like further information or the instruction sheet on how to do this, visit the library's website at www.cumberlandcountync.gov slash library. Now this is our new website, so be sure you use that link and not the old one that you may remember or may be on your library card. You can also call the library at our main number, 910-483-7727 and follow the links to reach the library of your choice. I hope that you've enjoyed making our lighted wine bottle snowman and look for even more crafts around the house videos in coming weeks. Follow us on Facebook and you'll get announcements when they happen. Happy crafting! <laughs>